Hey internet, in this video I'm going to show everyone a cool little new free plugin from a company called NLA, Non-Lethal Applications. I think that's a really cool, edgy name. <laughs> so um, yeah, basically this plugin right here is made for anybody who owns hardware and uses it either during recording, mixing, or mastering, and you want to be able to save pictures of your hardware settings into your DAW. Now, I believe this supports pretty much every format out there right now, and the idea is that pictures get saved inside of your project file, your session file, whatever. That's basically what the way this works is that data is embedded into your project. And let's see how it works. Let's see what formats it can support and all that other good stuff because I really haven't messed with this too much. Um, so now I have to blur everything out as usual while I find my photos. And of course they're not readily available even though I just added one before I started capturing, which that may need to be a thing that they fix but anyway here we are and i have a variety of image formats png uncompressed tiff compressed tiff jpeg of course and then png so let's start with bmp cannot be open nope <laughs> okay well maybe i'll send them a bitmap oh look saying it reset where i need to go so luckily i copied and pasted my hard drive area and we will try the next file which is in a compressed TIFF LZW TIFF that also does not work alright once again next uncompressed TIFF does not work alright I know JPEG works but I'll I'll save that I want to see if PNG works first PNG does work Great. All right. Oh, it doesn't reset where the folder is, though. So that's something I hope that they can fix. You see what I'm talking about? Like, it actually goes back to my desktop each time, th the default folder. So, yeah. That's a... Uh, even though this is free, I'm sure they're looking for feedback on the plugin. Although it did come out in 2017. So I don't know. But anyway, let's see if... Well, I know JPEG works, so I'll add the SA76 to this so you guys can see the way it works. So look, obviously this does me no good because it's very small. I really can't see exactly where the settings are. So just click this zoom button and hit 200% and it's better. And you can click back and forth. And that's a little annoying that it bounces up. But uh, you know what? That's fine. I would rather the photo remain its original size or at least close to it compared to, you know, I, I can deal with a little bit of annoyance there. I can also rotate it. <laughs> Uh-oh. Now I can't rotate it again. Oh, no. Uh-oh. That's not good. I can't find the bottom of this image now, seriously. There's no way to do that, is there? If I hit Control Z, will that work? Nope. Okay, well, that's a problem. So let me add my pictures again. Let's see if I can add more than one at a time. That's a yes. Let me see if, if I hit rotate again. See, it's because it's smaller, but if I, when I hit rotate when it was a lot bigger, then that then obviously that was a problem. That's definitely not intended use. <laughs> so let's see what the notes look like when I type it in. We'll say, I see the problem with this picture is the shadow. Now, normally you're going to try to want to get as flat as a picture lighting wise as possible. This was actually a screenshot from the reviews of these two compressors because I didn't want to pull out either of them <laughs> for this video. So, uh, but you know, you guys get the idea. It, we can see the settings, but I would still recommend keeping the original pictures in a folder because 
I can tell you that maybe not this picture, but on my 12 megapixel cameras, they're a lot more detailed. This is still nice though. Don't get me wrong. Like if you, for some reason, lose those recall pictures, then this is a nice secondary backup. And it's also nice because you can put another one of these plugins right afterwards and see what the chain is. So let's say I recorded with, I don't know, an EQ. So we'll say that, actually we'll start with the microphone. So the microphone was a Shure SM7B into the FMR Audi. Actually we'll do an EQ into an API 550 or 560, we'll try that. And then into the FMR and then that was run into the SA76. Now, do those notes stay with this image? Okay, they're just overall notes. That's fine. So that's it. Now, I do have another problem with this plugin, and that is when I hit this X, that's it. It immediately deletes the picture. Now, if I hit Control Z, will it do anything? No, it just removes the plugin. All right, so yeah, the X, not giving you a warning prompt is a problem. So that's one thing I would definitely fix. And also the issue I just had where you had to keep pulling up the folder over and over and over again. So those two plus the rotation thing going off screen, you know, it, all they would have to do is put the rotation button at the top when you do that. Now I say that like it's a, two-step process but no I, I understand software development's a pain in the butt but this is my feedback to make this a better plugin now let me make this a hundred percent and I'll double check that there's not a rotate no say so the rotate does stay it stays right there so if the rotate was just changed to the top these buttons these two buttons then it would fix the issue and X needs to have that warning prompt. So that's really about it. Otherwise, you know, I, even with those problems, I still recommend this plugin. I like the idea of this. And this definitely will come in handy for me when I start using hardware more often when I record. So, yeah. And also you could save other things, not just EQ or compressor settings. You can take a picture of you know, the person singing and, you know, see the distance. Maybe you can measure where they were in the room, where the microphone stand was, how high it was. There are all kinds of uses for photos in the audio recording slash mixing process. So, yeah. What do you guys think? If you like this plugin, hit the thumbs up button. If you like the video, then leave me a comment <laughs> because I appreciate all the feedback and if you have a suggestion for this plugin, then email the developers. I will be emailing the developers that I would like. Well, bitmap, who does people don't use bitmap photos, but H E I F high efficiency image format, I believe that is what it's called. That will soon be a thing more often. It's better than JPEG. JPEG is an old technology, just like H264, it's actually older than H264. GIF is old too, but it's still being used. So HEIF is going to be the next big thing. It's already happening to an extent, but um, yeah, for whatever reason, it's being held back and that's a shame. So one day we'll get there, but for right now, JPEG and PNG, hey, at least PNG started getting adopted more widely. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. This has been Adam for Real Home Recording dot call